What's going on guys, this is Goofy Oop the Balls bringing you guys some Black Ops 3 information and possible evidence that the nuke is returning in Black Ops 3. Now, I want to start off by saying that none of this information is confirmed or has been verified and the information is a little bit sketchy, I'll admit that. But I've dumped hours into trying to verify this evidence and from what I've figured out, it does seem to be true. And some of you out there are probably thinking, oh, well David Vonderhaar said there's not going to be a nuke in this game, so there's no way this information is right. But I'll talk a little bit later in this video about why that isn't necessarily true and why Treyarch could still technically have a nuke in their game. Anyways, in the PC version of the Black Ops 3 beta, in every round ending kill cam, it sounded as if someone was shooting bullets off a riot shield and then at the end, there was some kind of weird fart noise. And apparently, at the end of every match on EVAC in the final kill cam, you would have this noise and then at the end, you would have this sort of weird nuke countdown timer, and that's exactly what it sounds like. A sort of weird ticking noise to count down to the timer, and then a different noise when it hits zero, and a nuke coming into the map. So I don't want to put that sound in my video because I didn't make the clip with that sound in it, so I'll just put a link down below to the video where I found it. And if you go check it out, you'll know exactly what I mean. But I mean, this is kind of fishy. Why does it only happen on EVAC? Why is it only the final kill cam on EVAC? There's just a lot of suspicion surrounding this sound. So my first thought was that this must be edited. So what I did is I took the Mono Warfare 2 nuke countdown sound, the Mono Warfare 3 Moab sound, the Ghost Chem Strike sound, and the Advanced Warfare DNA Bomb sound, and I went into Audacity, a free sound editing software, and tried to recreate that noise, changing the pitch, changing the speed, tempo, of all the other noises, mixing and matching them, and I couldn't get anything near close to that sound in that video. So either it's derived from some other game I don't know, and if you guys know where it's derived from, leave a comment down below because I'd love to know, or the sound is legit. But then I still thought it was suspicious that there were no other videos with that sound. So what I did is I looked it up and I did manage to find another video, and there doesn't seem to be any link between these two users, and I'll put that link down below too. Where it's the exact same thing, a game ending kill cam on EVAC, and you hear the fart noise and then you hear the countdown noise, and they're exactly the same. So I thought that maybe even though I couldn't find a connection between these two users, there was some connection and they were trying to play up some big hoax. So I went over to Steam, where people were complaining about the fart sound at the end of these kill cams, and I asked them if any of them had experienced that same kind of sound in a game ending kill cam on EVAC, and people told me that they had. I even scrolled through a ton of YouTube comments about the Black Ops 3 beta on PC gameplay, where people also reported they'd heard that weird countdown sound. So after all these people confirmed it, I figured it must be a sound and it must be in the game. The only thing that still seemed kind of fishy to me was that the sound has a 13 second countdown. If you listen closely, there are 13 ticks before the final one, whereas all nuke type killstreaks in older games had a 10 second countdown. But after more careful inspection, you can see that the time between the first tick and the final tick is almost exactly 10 seconds, which adds even more evidence that this could be a nuke sound. But now, this is all shot down because Treyarch said that they're not going to put a nuke in their game, right? Wrong. So many people think that David Vonderhaar said that there definitely will not be any type of nuke in Black Ops 3, but that's not 100% true. Let's look at this tweet here from Extreme Killer at David Vonderhaar. He says, David, make a 25 killstreak nuke, please. Nuke, not metal, frowny face. Hard to get the nuke, then bummer. You only receive a metal. And David replies, we aren't fans of a game ending or game modifying score streaks in general. The mothership will make people wet themselves and rage quit as it is. No need for anything beyond that. So there's a couple things to mention here. Extreme Killer uses the word killstreak, but David Vonderhaar uses the word score streak. And that brings up some questions. I mean, there is a big difference between a kill streak and a score streak. Your score streak is based off your score in one life, and a kill streak is based off kills in one life. And we know the nuclear from Black Ops 2 was a kill streak medal and not a score streak medal. So I think if Vonderhaar had said that we aren't fans of game ending or game modifying kill streaks, that would definitely say that there is not going to be a nuke in this game. But he only said score streaks, and we know the nuke isn't going to be a score streak, it's going to be a kill streak. So it seems like he might have dodged the question there with some shady wording. And that also applies to his follow up tweet, the mothership will make people wet themselves and rage quit as it is, no need for anything beyond that. When he says anything beyond that, he means anything beyond that score streak, not necessarily beyond that kill streak. So that's one thing to point out. The other thing is, he says game ending or game modifying streaks. 
So the nuke in Modern Warfare 2 was game ending. The nuke, or the Moab rather, in Modern Warfare 3 was game modifying because it left that kind of hazy stuff around and gave everyone on the nuke team double XP. The chem strike in Ghost was game modifying because it left that kind of haze around, but the DNA bomb in Advanced Warfare was not technically game modifying. All it did was you called it in and it killed the whole enemy team and then it was gone and that was it. So two, three months down the road, if Black Ops 3 comes out and there is a nuke in the game that does just that, kills the whole enemy team and leaves no after effects, we could come back, look at these tweets and say, yeah, I guess that makes sense. He never really ruled out that kind of nuke. So that sums up what I got for you guys today from the nuke sound in the PC files to David Vonderhaar's tweets. I think it is still very possible that there is a DNA bomb style nuke in Black Ops 3. Now, I use the word possible there. Not gonna happen, not very likely, just possible. You know, maybe this is the end of game sound on Nuketown, because at the end of every Nuketown game, the whole map gets nuked. I just don't see why there'd be a timer in there. Or maybe this is related to zombies, but then how did this file get over to PC? I really wouldn't give you guys this information unless I was very sure. And I really did a lot of research looking into this, and I spent a lot of time trying to make sure that this sound is really in the PC beta. And as a player, I really do want the nuke to be in this game. I know it's not Treyarch style and they haven't done it in World of War, Black Ops 1, or Black Ops 2, but I really do enjoy the nuke killstreak. In Modern Warfare 2, I loved going for those chopper gunners, AC-130s trying to get the nukes. Modern Warfare 3, I love specialists going for nukes. It's just, it adds a lot to the game for me. It makes it a lot more fun. I love going for those streaks and getting those streaks is really rewarding. And it really does make the game a lot more fun for me and makes it last a lot longer in my opinion. But let me know what you guys have to think about this from the nuke sound, maybe you don't think it's real, maybe you think it's real, maybe you know where the sound actually comes from, what you think about Vonderhaar's tweets, what you think about the nuke in general, do you want it in this game or do you not want it in this game, or maybe you just want to comment and say, hey, nice video, man. I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say about this kind of stuff, your opinions, your thoughts, what you want to see in this game. I'm always up to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about these Call of Duty games. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd love it if you could leave a comment and a like, and maybe share this video with somebody else. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.